Welcome back to my channel everyone, The Santa Maria here and I'm excited to bring you another makeup related video. And this is a collection I was excited to see. This is from Juvia's Place and this is the Juvia's Place and Vanessa's collection that dropped recently. I'm telling you, January came with the heat. And um, can we say, when I saw this collection online, I was like, need? And I saw the, promo the promos for it. I was like, why don't I own you? And I need you right now. So without further ado, let's get into the collection that I picked up. So first up, this is the box for the Juvia's Place and Vanessa collection. This is the eyeshadow palette that came out. This collection is a dream come true. It captivates beauty and rich nudes that work on every skin tone and every occasion and ideal for everyday glam and lots of sophisticated looks. Lots of love, Vanessa. I'm digging this. Okay, shelf life of 24 months. All right. Mm. I mean, but eyeshadow palettes, I mean, we all got palettes that we keep for much longer than that, but I appreciate them informing us, you know. So what it looks like unboxed, nice. Uh, she looks so pretty on here. I'm a huge fan of Vanessa on Instagram, yes. And here is what you care about. The infamous palette, six pans, four mattes, a shimmer and a pressed pigment right in the middle. So yes, um, Juvia's Place is stepping their game up with their quality and offerings and shadows. For those that have already been on the Juvia's Place game or those that don't know, Juvia's Place is the queen of bold popping colors that are extremely affordable. And once they made the deal and came into Ulta, that just opened up the world for them to be seen and loved by more people across all different colors and races. Most of their items have definitely an Afrocentric focus, which I'm appreciative and I love that. You definitely see like, okay, this is gonna show, this is gonna pop on Melanated Beauties. So there's never a question. And now their products are loved by everyone. So that's a beautiful thing to watch a company grow and do their thing. And I'm just, they're killing the game with their releases. And on their website, they have promos and specials all the time. So all you have to do is follow them or just log on and you can catch a deal on products. And they ship very, very fast. That's something else I like too. So. Never had an issue. Products always arrive intact. No no drama, no problems. Same this time came USPS. No beef, no issue. The drama is over. They got it together. We're here. So then too, guys, I also got the Naomi lip gloss. This is the pink gloss that came. They had a new gloss that also came in the collection. I wasn't digging it just because I have a million new glosses just from over the years. And quite frankly, it's harder to find a black girl friendly pink lipstick, lip gloss, than it is to find a nude these days. So that's why I had to grab the Naomi. And here is Naomi Unboxed. I mean, very high quality. I mean, I love how they have done the packaging for this. I'm gonna take it out of here for you all. Check it out. As you can see, it's still wrapped up. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, it's still wrapped up. So it has not been used. This is truly a first impressions for both of us. So let me add some eyeshadow primer to my eyelids so we can start to use this here palette. I use my tried and true, my MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extended eye base. I've been rocking with this since it came out and they gave me my first one in gratis back in the day and I continue to buy it. Mm-hmm. I'm a faithful customer. I'm a faithful person. If I got some, if I like it and it works, it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, the mantra holds true in the makeup world. All right, eyes are primed and we are a little bit closer so we can get into this together better. So without further ado, let's, we're gonna use the palette in and of itself. I'm not gonna mix it with anything else for now. Cause you know, I wanna experience the product in its true form. So I'm gonna take a MAC 224 brush Blending brush, oldie but goodie. I'm gonna start out with the shade Busy, right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is definitely a tan, peachy nude color. And it is showing up on me, cause quite frankly, I didn't think it would show up. Now I'm gonna go in with this middle shade right here, the orange color, and it is called Stush. This right here, I'm going with that one. So we're gonna swirl that around. Ooh, she's pigmented. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. I like where we're going here. Okay. This is definitely a warm toned palette. Let me say that right now. If you couldn't already tell by the pans, how they look at the pan is how they transfer on the eye. So again, shout out to Juvia's Place. It's the classic Juvia's quality that we've all come to know and love. All right, guys. So we have, okay, we have our eye going here. Now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna switch brushes. Now to switch it up, we're gonna go in with a MAC 217 brush. Uh, this is a more defined blending brush. Very good for, um, very good for beating down in the crease. So I'm gonna take the shade Akua this color right here on the end. Wow, okay. Oh, this look is warm. <laughs> and you know what? The best palette I can compare to this is the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. For those that remember that palette. I own it. I just don't know where it is. But if I find it, I can show it. <laughs> okay guys. We have an eye. Now, Let's transition. Let's have some fun with the shimmers. I mean, we've all been dying to play with them. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm dying to get my hands into this here Press Pigment Perfectionist right here in the middle. So, you know what? I'm gonna go in with my Practique Shader Brush by Sigma Beauty. I'm not gonna wet the brush for now because I just wanna see how this does as a dry form shadow. Okay. Ooh. Oh, she's sparkling. Okay. Okay, are y'all getting into this right now? Okay, then. Oh, this is pretty. Mm. Okay, I like that. And since we're doing a first impressions on the other eye, I'm gonna go in with my finger. You know, just to compare which how it goes on versus a brush on this side. And we're gonna use my finger for this eye. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, guys, look at that. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of digging the finger on this. You can tell I'm noticing the heat, your natural body heat is laying this on the eye a lot smoother than with the brush. Okay then, I like it. But I always go back in no matter what, whether I do brush or wet brush, dry brush, finger, whatever. I always would go in and clean it up with my shader brush anyway. So I'm still gonna do that. Just to give me that placement I like. All right. I'm with it. All right, and now we're gonna take the BSG shade over here in the end. I'm actually gonna clean my brush off a little bit. My little swatch thingy. All right, let's go in with this final color over here. So we're gonna go in with some more of the, I'm mixed a little bit of 
the this Akua and the BSG shades right here. I'm gonna take that and mix both of those to smoke out under the eye because I'm here for the drama that's happening. So I am having some fallout with these shadows. So I'm going to take my face brush here and wipe off the excess. Okay. And that is the eye look using the Vanessa palette. I like it. I like it. And normally I'm not as big of a warm tone girl all the time, but you know what? It's been chilly and icy. Hmm. Okay, so now moving forward, we're going to use the Naomi Gloss. Again, this is our friend. And to keep it 100, I'm going to use Plum Liner with it. Because Plum is basically my lip color. Kind of, sort of. All right, so let's open her up. She is a cream gloss doe foot applicator. Get into that. Yes. So now let's see what she's talking about. Okay, this is creamy. It smells good. It smells like buttery. Oh yeah. Okay, that's the standard two coats of gloss. I'm gonna move in a little bit more so y'all can get into it. I like this. I would wear this just regular every day. Like, oh, I wanna add a little tint of color to my face, you know, when we are not covered up, you know. Hopefully that's coming soon. But yes, this is very soft. This goes great with something with a bold eye like this. You need a gloss that's giving us some life, but not too much life, and this fits the bill. So I get why they put this type of pink in this collection. This is definitely a pink I would reach for, because again, like I was telling you all, it's hard to find it's hard to find a black girl pink color because a lot of times they're overly like white based, or sometimes they're just a little bit too blue based. You gotta find a nice harmony. I don't know how they did it. This leans more on the mauve pink side, and yeah, that works. Okay, kudos to y'all for that. Mm hmm All right, guys. So this is my face, fully done. The final look using the collection. I am here for this right here. Do I see myself using it more? Absolutely, but when it is warmer outside. This is not a January palette to me. This is truly a spring palette. So I will check back in with you more so come March, April here. But that's when it gets all nice and warm. And yeah, gloss. Now this I will be wearing no matter what. This is year round. And oh yes. So the collection gets a thumbs up for me. I'm digging these influencer collabs they're doing. They are dropping heat left and right. So quite frankly, I'm wait I'm just excited to see what else they bring to the table, who else they do a collab with. Cause yeah, this was a hit. I like it. But alas, let me know what you think. Let me know of the palette. Did you buy it? Did you buy the gloss? Which gloss did you buy? Or did you say now nah, I'm gonna pass and wait on something else? But yeah. This is the look, guys, and that's all I got for you on this episode today. So I will talk to you later. Bye, y'all.